Hey guys, it's Callie. Tonight I'm going to show you how I made this really cool journal page following 10 prompts given by Cindy Utter in her Pick 10 Challenge. I'll link her video below and if this looks like something you're interested in seeing how I put together, stick around. I'd love it if you check it out. Hey guys, good afternoon. It's me, Callie. Today I'm doing something totally spontaneous. I was watching one of Cindy Utter's videos this morning and I'll leave all the links below. And Cindy was doing a journal challenge that she does each month called Pick 10, where she picks 10 journal prompts, mixed media journal prompts, and uses them to create a page. Now the prompts that she uses are based on a inspiration deck, a mixed media inspiration deck of cards by a woman named Kayla Givehand. And I have to tell you, I am really inspired by this deck and I want to get it myself. So thanks for enabling me, Cindy. Uh, but in the meantime, I decided to take the same prompts that Cindy used and write them on some popsicle sticks that I have. And instead of doing them in the same order that she did, I'm going to randomly pick a stick until all 10 are used and create my page that way. So I know that she's also, she has a Facebook group, I believe it's called Artsy Endeavors, and she's also doing this prompt with a few, uh, this challenge with a few other people. So I'll put all the links below again, and I'm going to just get started here and shuffle these up. And obviously you'll find out what the prompts are as I pull them. And let's just pick one. My eyes are closed. Doodle a border around the edge of the surface. Okay, well, great way to start doodling a border. Let me go get my doodle stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just grabbed one of my favorite pens. This is a Uniball Vision Elite in black. And I'm just going to doodle around the edges. I forgot to tell you guys, I'm using um, my Delusions journal, and actually the other half of the journal, I'm doing my Mission Inspiration Mike Deacon's challenges, so I'll put that link below too. Uh, let's see, I have no idea what we're going to do. What's this page going to be about? So let's just, I'll start doodling. And this has really inspired me. Um, about two years ago now, I had done some inspiration stick challenges with Claudia Rossi's group uh, and Gina Aaron's and um, oh my gosh Miss Lady Petal uh, their group I used their stick challenges and I did popsicle sticks at that time and uh, they're really helpful to get you out of your comfort zone and you know, especially if you're stuck in a rut and you don't know where to start, I really like them. So I just got totally inspired this morning and had nothing else going on today and decided I would jump aboard. So I'm just kind of obviously doing some random squiggles here, which I can either elaborate upon or incorporate obviously we have a long way to go here so who knows what this will be uh, looking at this border right now though makes me want to go back and thicken up all the lines so um yeah and obviously you can see i put masking paper tape down as well as wax paper on either side okay so um, I probably will. I'm going to uh, off camera go around and thicken up these lines. But in the meantime, let's pick our second prompt. Just so you know, because I know you're excited. And again, not looking. What do we got? My favorite color. Use a sponge or a makeup wedge to dab paint in random places. Well, that's also a good prompt. So, like I said, I'm going to thicken up these lines, and then I'm going to come back with some paint and a sponge or a makeup wedge. See you in a minute. Okay, you can see I kind of darkened up the curls, and I just used my uh, Faber-Castell Pit Pen with the brush tip. I love this thing. 
Uh, okay, so we're going to use a sponge or a makeup wedge. Well, actually, I've cut up a dish sponge, a fresh one. I've never used it. And to dab paint in random places. Well, anybody who knows me will not be surprised at my color choices. Uh, I have a, what do I got? These are both apple barrel paints. This one is two blue and this is violet iris. So we are just going to dab around. And I was going to use some fall colors just because it's autumn right now, but I just, let's do this. I'm going to cover the border or not. Um, I have a tendency to not want to leave white space. I don't know why that is. Probably should have done one more color. Hmm. What do you think? Should I? Or not? Maybe I'll just work with this. Oh, that's cool. I'm actually working with this book upside down. And you can't tell yet, but I'll turn it around to keep it so you guys can see what's up. I kind of like that. Surprise, surprise, purple and blue. Why wouldn't I? could still see the border coming through um, and it's not so harsh so again these are things I wouldn't have done that on my own in my own head I wouldn't have thought to just do that so very cool all right what do you think isn't that fabulous um, all right so for our third prompt gather my sticks here. I'll let this dry, obviously, and we'll come back, but I'll let you know. Oh, we got. Write with a paintbrush using India ink or paint. All right, let me see what I have on hand, and I'll be back when this is dry, and we'll do this one. See you in a minute. Okay, this is pretty much dry now, and I went in my stash, and this is what I found. It's ancient. Pelican, Ultramarine, I'm assuming it's India ink. I don't know. This is what we're going to use. I have a brush, and I thought about what to write. It just says write. So I'm going to write the words, or as much as I can, to a Led Zeppelin song called Ramble On, just because I was talking about the leaves before. So, let's see how this works. Leaves. Are. Falling. I love how, it, you know, obviously blends with the other colors. All. Around. I'll make that look a little better. It's time I was on my way. Thanks to you. I'm much obliged. Such a pleasant stay. I'm not going to be able to finish it. I think that looks cool because you know I know what it says and you know what it says 
but if you didn't, you wouldn't. So, very cool. Next up. What do we got? Add tissue paper or colored paper towel. Oh, that's cool. I like doing that. Adds in a lot of nice texture. Let me go get some of that, and I'll see you back here. Okay, so let's add some tissue paper. I have my handy-dandy Americana decoupage matte medium. I use this for everything. Um, and I have a bag of random scraps of tissue paper that I've used in other projects. So I'm not going to give this a whole lot of thought. You won't be surprised to see there's purples and blues and things like that. But I'm just going to kind of go in with an old brush and the... And start laying it down. Cover the whole page. And let's just get started. Love how you can see underneath it and the texture it gives the page. If we get to paint on top of it, who knows, but we might. If there's anything hanging off the edges, we could trim it up later. I don't try not to be so precise, but sometimes I am. This is great. Pretty. Maybe we should add some green or something. What do you think? Kind of break it up. Oh, that's okay. I'll cover over the top. Yeah, this is one of my favorite techniques to do to a page. Especially painting on top of it. All right, I have this really nice chartreuse here. Let's put some down. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. I'll make sure I don't cover up too much. You never know when to stop. But that looks cool. Down here. And I don't know, is that enough? Maybe we should do some more of this blue just to kind of, it gets tough to see with the decoupage after a while what's underneath so it's kind of cool to watch it develop as it comes out when it's drying all right I don't want to overdo it you guys let's see a little bit more let me say that and then I wind up doing it but that's all right and more in the corner or down here. All right, that's good. I think that's going to be enough. We'll let this dry and let's pull our next prompt. Because I know you're just waiting. Let's see. Draw a grid, then doodle inside the gridded area. Wow, okay. Uh, I'll see you when this is dry. Okay, so this is nice and dry now, and we're going to draw a grid, then doodle inside the gridded area. Well, I didn't want to do the whole page of grid, so I thought because we lost our border here that I would just go ahead and draw in an, another one, and we'll see how that turns out. So I have a ruler. I'm going to do uh, one inch all the way around, and then I'll divide that in half. I'm 
show you what I mean. And I want to color it in black and white. So. And we'll do the same on the other side. using a sharpie uh, let's see Sorry, I'm so quiet, you guys. I can't work and talk and think and do all at the same time. Um, okay, and then let's, I'm going to break that inch into half inch. just color in a checkerboard pattern. How original. Okay. And I'm going to break this up into half inch squares here all the way across. So, if I can see, there we go, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, you get the idea, right? Uh -huh, doo -doo -doo. Of course, it's not on the line. Why would it be? All right. You guys, let me do all this off camera because I'm wasting your time. I'm going to grid this up and then color it in with a white Sharpie and the black Sharpie and we'll come back and this will be a checkerboard. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, I have it all gridded out. I thought I'd show you before I get coloring. So I'm just going to alternate black and white checks and like I said, I'm going to use my Sharpie paint pen and this one is just a black Sharpie. Okay, so see when this is colored in. Okay, so there you have it. It took me longer than I thought, well over a half an hour, and I went over the white spots because you could see through it, but I'm happy with the way it turned out. So let's move on and pick the next prompt. We're halfway there. So let's see. Rub gesso in random places with your fingers. Well, that sounds like fun. Let me grab my gesso and I'll be right back. Okay, I grabbed my gesso. This is just simply acrylic gesso by Daler and Rowney. I picked it up at the Walmart, threw a little bit in my palette dish. And let's just kind of, I don't know, schmear. You know I'm not going to touch that border after I spent all that time doing it. So, <laughs> although I probably should. I'm not that brave. That's cool. Okay, that's going to be about the extent of it. Let this dry. And while we do that, let me pick another stick. 
Let's see. Do you do? Okay, this one says add collage elements. So I'm going to grab some of those and I'll be back when this is dry. Okay, so I had a hard time deciding what collage elements to use and I decided to keep it really simple and just do hearts. So I went through my stash and these are some paint chip cards and this is some artwork that came I think in a picture frame or something. I'm just going to turn them over and use a pen and draw out simple hearts and then I'll cut them out and glue them on randomly okay so I'll come back and show you when that's done okay so this is done now it's the glue is still drying a little bit and obviously I've turned the page around so you could see it better but I'm happy with that and while they continue to dry we're gonna pull there's three more sticks so let's see use stickers all right, well, I'm not a big sticker girl, but I'll see what I have in my stash, and I'll be back with some stickers. See you in a second. Okay, as you can see, I've added the stickers, and they were these really cool butterfly stickers that I received in some Happy Mail. So I used three of those, and I think it looks really great. What's better than hearts, than butterflies? So there's that, and there are two sticks left, you guys. I'm trying not to peek, but I did see Cindy's challenge, so I have an idea of what they could be, but here we go. Last one. Add three or more stenciled images. Okay, this is going to be interesting because the page is getting crowded, so give me a few minutes to think about it, and we'll come back and do some stenciling. Okay, so we're going to do this in stages so I can let everything dry. The first stencil I decided on using is this Punchinella. And again, this was sent in some Happy Mail. I'm going to use it here on the background, and I'm using, I'm trying to use up some old paints. Here's some Aileen's in Lustrous Blue. Have it on my palette dish. I'm going to use this little spouncer. So, let's see what we get. I'm just going to kind of randomly go around. Try to stay off the butterflies. I don't know how uh, much this will show up, but let's see. Yeah, it's hard because it um, doesn't really come through as little squares. Let's see if we can have better luck up here. Try not to use so much paint. Very lightly. Meh. Not working out the way I wanted it to, but I guess it's probably working out the way it's supposed to. So we're just going to go with it. And that's what happens sometimes. Need to work on my stenciling technique. Okay, that's the first one. I'll come back with the second one. So for the second stenciled image, I decided to use some of my Tim Holtz mini stencils. I'm just going to use these, and I may live to regret this, but that's okay. I'm going to use some of my Americana acrylic paint. This one's in Lamp Black. I have a makeup wedge here, and my idea is I think these checkers are a little too big. Well, actually, I thought they were fine, but I need to use the stencils. So my idea is to go into the white and make little black crosses. Let's see if we could do this. That's my idea. Like I said, sometimes you just got to go for it. What's the worst thing that can happen, right? But I thought this would tone it down a little. And let's see what we get. I'm just going to go across there. And if we like it, we'll continue. Uh, what do you think? I like it. 
All right, I am going to continue. I'm gonna go around all the edge with this one and I'll meet you back here when that's done. So what do you think? I think it looks great. It just toned it down enough. Okay, so last stencil, I figure I'm on a roll with these Tim Holtz and I'm gonna use this one, which is just some cogs and clockwork. And I thought maybe we could just put it here uh, on the inside edge, at least to start. And I'm going to use some of my Decor Elegant Finish Metallic Paint. This one's in Glorious Gold. I love these paints. And I'm just going to work off of the lid. And we had good luck with the makeup wedge, so I have another makeup wedge. And let's just... I don't even know if this is going to show up, you guys, but tis what it is. We certainly have enough going on here if it doesn't. I'm trying to go a little heavier. Hopefully it'll just be the Hint of a shadow of a shape. Let's see. Well, already. Um, yeah, not so much, but that's all right. That's all right. Maybe when it's all finished and comes together, I'll change my mind. But um, might as well put some of this up here as well. Can you see this okay? I'm trying to stay off butterflies and hearts and things like that, but probably doesn't much matter. spot down here in the corner. Oh, right on the butterfly. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Well, I had very good intentions here, but again, sometimes it doesn't turn out the way you think, and sometimes it makes it even better. So we're going to go with that theory. And you guys, this is, we're almost done here, and I've had a lot of fun. So again, don't forget to check out all the links I put below. And thank you, Cindy, for inspiring me today. Okay. All right. There's only one stick left, you guys, so I don't have to pick it. It's just here. And this one says to draw shapes, then doodle patterns inside the shapes. Lord knows we need more shapes. I'm probably going to go with small circles, or I definitely want to outline the hearts and the butterflies. That's not a prompt, but I am going to do that. So let's see. Draw shapes. Yeah, we're going to draw some circles. Let me get my pens out again, and I'll see you back here. Okay, guys, I got carried away and finished it up. The prompt was to draw shapes, then doodle patterns inside the shapes. Again, you guys, this is so busy. I use my Faber-Castell pit pen with the brush tip, and I also use this Sharpie fine point marker. And the shapes that I drew were these little circles, and I must have this black and white pattern on the brain today, but so that's what I did. And I did a circle here, 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 hear ye, hear ye. And I also used my uh, pit pen to outline everything. I outlined the butterflies. I outlined all the hearts. Um, I had a lot of fun with this page. 
So I hope you like it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you do. I make videos very frequently. Please don't forget to check out all the links that I put below and join along. This has been a lot of fun. I'll see you guys real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.